Carnales de Soundcheck nos encontramos en un momento de lujo, una banda muy importante alrededor del mundo se encuentra de visita en la, en la República Mexicana. Tenemos la oportunidad de platicar con Arctic Monkeys. First of all, Alex, Nick, thank you very much for this interview. Thank you for having us. Yeah, cheers. How Pleasure. do you feel here in Mexico? What's that, sorry? What do you, how, how do you feel here? Oh, we're very excited, aren't we, Nick? Very much so, yes. Awesome. Now, talking about such a great album, such a great see, so far, what could be the biggest lesson that this album has given to you? Oh, um... Biggest lesson. Don't you fire that one this way. I don't know. I don't know, yeah. Uh, I'll just... It's... Uh, what's, what has it taught us? What have we learned from this? I don't know. I think, you know, the, definitely the, the, the heavier side of that record is yeah. what uh, the fans have, like, responded to. Yeah. I've noticed the best um, in the shows. I think that's the kind of... You're the best part of that record is like this sort of don't sit down because I've moved your chair and library pictures those kind of songs the other ones are cool too like but I mean I think that's the kind of the 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 the, the cream in that uh, <laughs> crop cool now now talking talking about uh, a lot of people want to know about the new album how is doing the creating process well we've not really started just yet we're still kind of on tour we're going to be on tour until Um, May, but we have, you know, we've got a few like little ideas that we've been messing around with. We just recorded a new song and released that that isn't on Suck It and See called Are You Mine the other week, which we're really pleased with. And um, I think that's perhaps a good, I don't know, it's hard to tell at this point, but I feel like it'll be something along those lines. Cool. Now, uh, uh, Nick, uh, during the whole Arctic Monkeys career, each album has totally di different sound. Do, yeah. do, you, do you have already a plan about what you want with the new album? Um, uh, talking about sound? Uh, I don't know, not, not really anything sort of set in stone before, but I think we sort of always have a bit of a an idea before, but um, it just sort of comes together as we're, sort of, as we're recording and as we're getting the songs together when it all starts to sort of make sense of how it's going to sound. Yeah. But yeah, we've never really before sort of fully set as art on sound in one particular way. It just sort of happens that way, I suppose. Cool. Now, uh, you were talking, Alex, about Are You Mine? And, and such a great video. This is a music channel and a video channel. So what, what's the experience about doing that video? Um, it was just a lot of fun. You know, and it was kind of... We we did it with with friends that we've worked on all the videos with yeah. uh, um, for this last record, and so we've got quite a good bond with those guys now. So it was just like we didn't think about it too much. It was just this one idea of having Steve Jones play it on his radio show in LA one night, and us being silly in a car, kind of hearing it. But it seemed like that as an idea, just doing like a one shot and having it actually being on the air like while we you know make the video seemed like a, it was kind of a I don't, I don't think innovative been done before yeah <laughs> and then and then it's yeah so just I don't know but it, I, I was surprised at like how good a reaction it got you know we, we didn't know everyone seems to like Now, now talking talking about touring, I know you're going to be touring with the Black Keys. That it's an, an awesome, an amazing band. Yeah. What's your relationship with the Black Keys? Yeah, good. I mean, we've just been we just done like a, a sort of three week long uh, tour with them, uh, like East Coast or America, and like a bit of Canada as well. And yeah, they're good. They're uh, nice guys. Not very good at ping pong, <laughs> um, but on the whole, very nice guys. Yeah, and we've we had a we had a really good time on that. And then we've got a like things like festivals like this South America and then Coachella and then we join back up with them again and do a, another three weeks so yeah lo looking forward to it I think we're a good uh, package together us and Black Keys cool now a lot of people Alex want to know also about uh, The Last Shadow Mo Puppets sorry uh, do you have do you have uh, plans to release another album not right now I don't think you know I think we're going to do another Monkeys record and Miles is working on his second solo album so I don't think it'll be imminent but one day maybe and what about the experience of doing the soundtrack of Submarine yeah it was great yeah again it was just like a, a, a good friend of ours made that movie and it just kind of worked out it was kind of a 
fluke. It was it was lucky, you know. But I don't know if I'll be doing too many more soundtracks, but like that, it worked for that one particular. Now, uh, Nick, I know uh, you joined Arctic Monkeys uh, after the whole success of, of the first album. What do you thought about the Arctic Monkeys before joining the band? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I already knew them because we were friends before. Um, so, it, it, yeah, I just sort of thought from looking in, I just sort of thought that that's pretty uh, exciting. That looks exciting, you know, for like some of your friends to have done that. Um, you know, you know, you never think that sort of thing happens to anyone that you that you know. So yeah, it was sort of looking in. I was probably like thinking, shit, I, I wish I were uh, in that band, and then. You know, Genie came out of a lamp, and yeah. <laughs> here I am. Yeah. Cool. Now, you know how the, the social networks are, are, so I announced that I'm going to interview, and a lot of fans start sending questions, and I choose two that I think they're interesting. I'm going to ask you. Uh, the first one is, um, how much have changed the perception of the music industry since the beginning of the, of the band until right now? Are you, well, yeah, I suppose a lot's changed in the old industry since we've been around, yeah, I think. It's um, the kind of the way people get records mostly now is is very different to the way it was like five years ago or whatever when when we first started um, making music. Yeah, I think it's sort of consumed differently, but I think the sort of essence of it is still the same and will always remain that way. And, and now the other question, and a lot of people ask that: uh, your opinion about that first show that you that you gave here in Mexico? That was kind of accidental with the rain and everything? Right, yeah. What's your opinion? The first show we did... Are you talking about the last time we came yeah. down? Yeah, outside of uh, Azteca Stadium? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, it was just a... I mean, you don't need me to tell you about <laughs> Mexican crowds, I'm sure. Um, and and because and of like that night... and. Eventually, it was a really good show. You know, there was some problems and this and that, and it was unfortunate. But you know, eventually, like everyone had a good time, and we're just sort of really excited for tonight because of that. And cool. you know, it was fun like driving in and seeing everybody there, and uh, it's kind of <laughs> and you could hear them when they all like came in the venue. Yeah, it's like and all the t-shirts as well. All the yeah, we're not used to that. Yeah, you got to. <laughs> A lot of t-shirts. <laughs> cool. Now, uh, talking also about another great tour that you're joining, the, the Orion uh, music, the one with Metallica. Oh, yeah. How do you get each other, like, the connection or whatever with Metallica? We just got asked if we'd like right. to open. And what do you think that such a great band ask about, about you? Yeah, no, it's, I mean, that's excellent for us to be a part of that bill with them and kind of unusual, I suppose, in a way, for, like... Arctic Monkeys and Metallica, because it's kind of, mm. you know, you wouldn't necessarily put that together, but I mean, I'm really excited for that, and it'll be great to, I've never, you know, Jamie's a big Metallica fan, I've never been to a Metallica show <laughs> myself, and I don't think any of us have, but I mean, I'm really excited <laughs> for, like, to see that, you know what I mean, like, uh, and I'm, yeah, I'm sure that'll be a great, great weekend, yeah. Now, uh, Hard to resist. Yeah. <laughs> now, Nick, I know that uh, after this, you're going to Chile, to Brazil, to Argentina. What do you think that you admire most about Latin American culture in general? Uh, just food, really, for me. <laughs> um, yeah, food. Uh, having just smashed five tacos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> having just made them disappear. Uh, yeah, that and, uh, yeah, I don't know, there's a, quite a sort of party feel to it that, you, I mean, uh, you certainly don't get in, in other places in the world. Um, everyone seems like they want to have a good time, rather than in England, it's more like everyone just wants to get drunk. But here it seems more like they're in it for the like the, the fun of it, I think. Yeah. And, and obviously they're drinking as well. <laughs> cool. Now, um, <clears throat> obviously Nick is doing an amazing, an amazing uh, job, but uh, some people want to know if you believe that at at some point, Andy could be doing another thing with Arctic Monkeys. Not, not, not as a regular, probably, part of the band, but probably a collaboration someday? I don't know, really. I mean, I don't know what that would be, really. I think everyone's kind of moved on from, from that, Andrew included. Um, 
So I don't know if that's going to happen, really, but... Now, uh, the last... Don't think this guy's going anywhere, put it that way. That, that's, uh, that's a good news for us. Now, uh, at, at the beginning, did you feel pressure? Like, I have to do it like, like Andy? I mean, you're doing it, but um, at the beginning... A little bit, I suppose, yeah. But um, Obviously, I just wanted to sort of play well, yeah. Um, but I knew, like, knowing them all before, it didn't really feel like if I... There was a lot of pressure on me, like if I got it wrong, I was going to get you know, told to leave or whatever. So that certainly helped to pull that weight off me a bit and uh, help, help me relax, yeah. But yeah, definitely I was thinking, you know, there's going to be people out there that are like, who's this new guy? What's he doing there? I preferred it before, <laughs> you know. But yeah, yeah, I mean, it's all, it's all uh, educational. Cool. Well, thank you very much. It's an honor to talk with you. Congratulations. Your music in general, not just, I cannot just pick one album. Every of the albums are amazing. And good luck with, with the creating process of the new studio album. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, thanks. Cool. Ya lo vieron, hermanos Arctic Monkeys. Vamos a continuar con más. Estamos aquí en Soundcheck. No le cambien. <laughs> 